All right, hey, today this video is going to be about Neuron Writer, and it's meant specifically for people that have never purchased this product yet. Obviously, if you have it and you want to watch my workflow of how I use Neuron Writer with my long form content tools, that's fine. But I really want to be clear that this is mainly for people that have maybe heard of Neuron Writer, maybe thought about an SEO optimization tool, but haven't made a purchase yet. So Neuron Writer is incredibly popular. Thousands of people are using this tool. I've been using it for over a year and a half. And it's to optimize your website content so Google adores it. That's what Neuron Writer's claim to fame is. So let's go ahead and just look through this real quickly. Basically what it does is you create your blog post you can drop it into Neuron Writer, or you can actually even write it in Neuron Writer. And we'll talk about why I choose to use a long form AI content tool versus using the Neuron Writer AI writing tools in a little bit. But you put your article in, and then it gives you a score. And then it gives you ways to optimize that score so you can get it to be equivalent to the highest ranking competitor for your particular keyword that you're writing against. It gives you all kinds of tools to do that. So let's go ahead and just walk through the process of using Neuron Writer and how I do it with my particular workflow. Before we start the workflow, I want to just talk to you quickly about the pricing. Now, Neuron Writer has two ways that you can purchase it. It has a monthly subscription plan or right now it still has a promotion running where you can buy it as a lifetime deal. I suggest looking at the lifetime deal. It's by far and away going to be the cheapest way to use this tool. If you go to the link in the description, you're going to see a lifetime deal link. Follow that link and it's going to lead you to this page. And if you click on lifetime promo, it's going to take you to this pricing area. So here's something that I want you to be aware of. Everything is based around a content query or a content writer analysis. They're the same thing. You get 25 content writer queries in the bronze plan and 15,000 AI credits. If you go to a silver plan, you get 50 content writer queries. And think of each query as a blog post SEO optimization. So if you pick a keyword and you have Neuron Writer analyze that keyword, then you can optimize a blog post for that keyword. So if you just have a single domain, you may go with 25 content writer analysis queries a month because maybe, you know, you can't even write 25 articles a month. But if you go to the silver plan, you can do 50 content writer analysis content queries a month. That would allow you to optimize up to 50 articles per month. And then the gold plan, 75 content writer queries a month. And here's the key thing that you need to be aware of. When you get up to the gold, platinum, and diamond plans, what's going to happen is you're now going to get access to extra features. You get access to advanced AI templates. The advanced AI templates make it much easier for you to boost your SEO optimization score, and I'll show you that in a minute. You get plagiarism checking. You get some integrations with WordPress and some content management types of integration. So again, I suggest the gold plan just mainly because of the extra content queries. Not every content query you do in Neuron Writer may lead to a, a completed blog post. So you may need some extra ones as you're determining whether you want to optimize and post an article. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. The last thing I wanna say is if you do make a purchase and use my links. I am an affiliate. I do make a small commission. I have purchased Neuron Writer with my own money. I've been using it for well over a year and a half. So it is a tool that uh, I use all the time. Let's do a content query. So again, this is the way everything starts in Neuron Writer. You start with a query. And here's what I mean by a query. When you do a new query, you want to rank content for that query. If you have a keyword that you've found, that's what you put in here. So for instance, 
let's say we want to write an article and it's blogging versus vlogging. That's our keyword that we're trying to rank for, blogging versus vlogging. Once you put that in, you go ahead, you hit start, and then you'll see this line appear with your content query. And then over here, you'll see a status bar. So as soon as that status bar reaches 100%, then uh, we go on to the next step. So when your content query is done, gives you an idea of uh, what your competition likes. So a score of zero means lower competition. The higher the number, the tougher the competition for this particular keyword. It gives you an idea of the search volume and the volume trends month by month here. It gives you an idea when it's searched for the most. So this could be useful, you know, for blog posts that would be seasonal, like if you're writing a gardening blog, you know, you'll have seasonal trends in your blog posts. But basically, this is what you do here is just start your content query here. All of this stuff is interesting, but not important for what we're doing today. So the next thing that you do is you click on your content query. It's going to take you to this next page where you're going to select the competitors to use as a reference for creating the guidelines for the SEO optimization. So what does that mean? You go in here and you want to think about the search intent, right? So it's blogging versus vlogging. But what it's going to do is it's going to check off the top 10 articles by default. Now that doesn't necessarily mean you want to just use those. You want to pick these articles that most closely align with your keyword, right? And the other thing is Google does bring up in the top 10 user-generated content like Reddit, Quora, and forums, or a YouTube video, for example. Now, I don't want to try to rank against user-generated content. I only want to rank against other websites and blog posts. I go through here and I go, oh, here's Reddit. That's user-generated content. I'm going to uncheck that. Quora, I, that's user-generated content. I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to look and see if any of these are YouTube or forums. So you can typically do a pretty good content query with seven of these checked. So we've got eight checked. Here's another article that's very closely aligned with what we are trying to write about and, and the keyword we're using. I think we'll just stick with those. So that's going to give us nine different uh, articles that we can use as guidance to rank against. We're going to click Next. So then we're taken to the Content Editor. I'm going to go ahead and just close that menu. So here in the Content Editor, you're going to see a variety of things. You're going to see basic and extended NLP key terms and phrases here. What we want to do is we're going to try to write an article that includes many of these because the more that we include, the higher the score becomes. Remember when we checked off all those articles? The most highly optimized article scores out at a 69. That's what we're shooting for, is to try to at least get to a 69. And of course, if we can optimize uh, to an even higher score, that would be great too. The way you do that and make that score higher is to use these terms within your article. The other thing to be aware of is the headings. That's very important when you use these heading terms. These help the article score better for SEO optimization as well. Now, you can write this article in Neuron Writer. My feeling, and I think most people would agree with me, is Neuron Writer is really more of an SEO optimization tool. It does say writer in its title. It does have writing tools. And to really take advantage of those writing tools, you probably need to be in at that gold plan because they have like a one-click blog post that you can use that's a part of the advanced AI writing templates that make it very easy for you to quickly write an article. I prefer to use a dedicated long-form AI writing tool. So what does that mean? I use seowriting.ai to write my blog posts. You can use Agility Writer. You can use Koala Writer. There's all kinds of writing tools out there. I happen to like seowriting.ai. And I'll show you how I use these basic and extended uh, NLP key terms from Neuron Writer in my long form 
tool. I copy the list of visible terms. I go over to a Google Doc. I drop them in. I find where my basic text terms start and get rid of everything that's above those we don't want to use. I just want to remove this phrase. But this is what we want to copy and ask our long form AI writer to use. Because most long form AI writers, when you write an article, they have a section for SEO where you can put in all of these terms and phrases that you would like the AI writer to use when it creates the article. So I simply just grab them, copy them, and then I go to my long form AI writer. So in this case, it's seowriting.ai. There's a link to it in my description. If you don't have a long form AI writer and you need one, I highly recommend seowriting.ai. I've got a link in the description that'll give you 25% off if you use my link and code. The first thing that I do is I, in my interface for my long form AI writer is I go to the SEO section and I paste all of those terms because these are the terms that I want in my article. I want them to be naturally added by my writing tool. The other thing that you're going to pull over from Neuron Writer is if you go back, we've got a title we'd like to add. So we generate this title. You can do it automatically. So this is a good one, choosing between blogging and vlogging, which is right for you for creative content in 2024. I'm gonna copy that. And it will also create a meta description for you as well. So it gives you an idea of what some of your competitors' metadata is and what they're using for the title and, and meta description. But at least in this case, I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna do a save and close. I'm gonna go back over to my long form tool. I'm gonna put in this title. I'm also going to grab my keywords that I'm shooting for, this blogging versus vlogging. That's my keywords. Put that in the main keyword section. And then I just go through and I have, you know, the SEO information in there that I took from Neuron Writer. I also have the title that I took from Neuron Writer. So then I go through and I set all the settings for, for this particular tool. Now, I'm not going to show you that right now. I'm just going to do it, have it run an article, and then we'll pull it into Neuron Writer and I'll show you how the SEO optimization process works. All right, so here's the finished article. We're going to go ahead and copy this and pull it into Neuron Writer and see what kind of SEO optimization score we get. Just remember, I pulled the NLP key terms and phrases, the basic and extended terms, and put those into the SEO section for this AI writer to use. I got those out of Neuron Writer, and that's critical to remember because that's what you need to do when you're using your AI writer and creating your content. Let's copy this. We're back to Neuron Writer. Let's paste it in. Let's see what kind of score we get. We get a score of 38, and we're shooting for a 69. The average score is a 43 in Google for the top 10. Now we have to optimize this more. The key thing to remember is we want to use these basic terms, and we want to use the extended terms when we put this article together. But one way that we can boost the score, and again, if you're in a plan that has the advanced AI templates, it's perfect to use this feature. We'll put an FAQ after the conclusion, make that an H2. We'll go over and you can go in and you can go into the AI writing section here and you have standard and advanced templates. Well, we're going to use an advanced template. And again, you have to be in at the gold plan or higher uh, to be able to get the advanced templates. But let's go ahead and add an FAQ with unused terms. So what it's going to do is create a frequently asked questions section, and it's going to use those basic and extended terms that weren't used when the AI writer created the article. There's a few things that you have to do. I just scroll down. I go to the generation settings, and I use the GPT. 4.0 language model, and I say write for me. Now, the one thing that you have to do is you need to make these H3s. Making them H3s lowers the score a bit, but if the frequently asked questions heading is an H2, you do need to make these H3s. So now our score is a 50, went up from like a 37 to a 57. So we're not that far away from 69. So the next piece of this, of course, is where else could you optimize? 
if we go back over to the Terms section, there is this tool called Auto Insert. And it's an AI assistant to allow you to use unused terms and add them into your content. So if you click Auto Insert, it'll start generating some AI content, and then you can go in and approve each one of these options that it gives you to boost the score even higher. It wants to add the word vlogging. So vlogging or creating a video log involves various production skills. I'm going to accept that. I'm going to accept that, accept that. This is nice because it goes through, it looks like at the basic and extended terms, and then you can add those in and boost your score. I'm just going to accept all of them just to show you if all of these uh, made sense to use. Now your score is a 62. Now you're um, very close to getting to that top score of 69. But there's other ways that you could do that. For example, you could look at your terms. And now a lot of those terms are all being used, so that's good. But there still are terms that haven't been used that might you might be able to fit in the article. Typically what I do at this point is I go ahead and I look at the headings. So I'm going to just close this. And I go back to the headings. And then I look to see where I can make some changes. Now, my AI writer took my title and used it as my H1. If you notice, there's a lot of H1 terms here that weren't used. I always have to go in and adjust this. And when I adjust this, that makes a big difference in my score. If you do something like this, blogger versus vlogger, difference between blog and vlog in 2024, notice we're up to a 63. Then I normally go to the H2 terms and I start looking at the H2 terms and H3 terms. I take the score up to a 64 by doing the evolution of content creation, blog versus vlog. So when I added that, now I'm at a 64. Then I would go through and I would look at all the remaining H3 and H2 terms that weren't used and try to fit those in. For example, a lot of times I go to the conclusion and I'll add this. Now I'm up to a 65. You don't have to over-optimize. Again, you know, for the top 10 in Google, the average score is a 43. You're at a 65. You're four points away from a 69. And if you look at your terms, you have very little red. So you don't want to over-optimize and use a lot of phrases over and over again and then end up with a lot of red. Uh, where we're at right now, we're okay. Uh, but you just want to be careful not to over-optimize articles either. There's really no reason to do that. So I'm perfectly fine with a 65. The fact that we were able to use the tools within Neuron Writer to take that score from a 37 to a 65 just shows how powerful this is. It gives you a lot of capabilities. Again, when you're looking at the pricing, the only thing that I would just mention is some of the tools that I use to increase that score are not available in the bronze or the silver plan. So that's why I suggest if you buy a lifetime plan, it's good to go ahead and get access to these advanced AI templates and tools because that's going to give you some of those shortcuts to optimizing an article much faster than doing it manually. Now, could you have achieved that same score if you didn't have those advanced AI tools? Yes, you could. It would just take you longer, right? So by buying into a higher plan and getting the advanced tools, it just saves you time. But I could definitely have gotten that score up by myself. It just would have taken more time to do that. This was really meant for those of you who have never seen the tool before and aren't sure whether you need an SEO optimization tool. I hope this has been a good example for you. You can determine whether a tool like Neuron Writer would work for you. Again, links to the Lifetime Deal are in the description. And of course, if you go into my Neuron Writer playlist, I have about 23 videos on Neuron Writer. So you can go through and get a lot more information about the tool and determine whether it's the right one for you. So I hope this has been helpful. Until next time, take care.